Remove the air filter cover and filter. Remove the two bolts that hold down the black cover over the carburetor. Remove the last remaining cover bolt. Then slide the cover off of the mounting studs. Slide the hose clamp up the hose. Pinch the hose with your fingers while sliding it off. Remove the choke lever. The choke lever has a protrusion on one side. Use this to plug the fuel line. Remove the carburetor spacer. Slide the carburetor back slightly and disconnect the two governor linkages from the carburetor throttle. Slide off the carburetor. Remove the carburetor gasket. Note what position the small hole is in while removing it. Remove the insulator. And insulator gasket from the stud. Remove the float bowl bolt and gasket from the bottom of the float bowl. Remove the float bowl. Remove the float pin and carefully lift up the float. Slide the float valve off of the float, making sure the float valve spring is not lost. Remove the main jet. Use a screwdriver that is thin enough not to touch the side of the main nozzle passage. If the screwdriver is too wide, it will damage the threaded area where the main jet goes. Remove the main nozzle. Limiter caps are installed to prevent tampering and can be removed by using a soldering iron to heat up the limiter cap. Once heated, a pair of side cutters can be used to slide the cap off of the pilot screw. Remove the pilot screw and spring. Remove the sediment bowl and o-ring. Remove the throttle stop screw. Carefully pry up the pilot jet. There is an O-ring on the end of the pilot jet. Make sure that it is there.
spray carburetor cleaner here and it should come out here. Spray cleaner into the pilot adjuster passage and make sure it comes out here. Spray cleaner into the pilot air jet passage and make sure it comes out here and here. Spray cleaner into the main air jet passage and make sure it comes out here. Spray cleaner into the main fuel passage and it should come out here. Spray cleaner into the fuel inlet passage and it should come out here and here. Spray cleaner into the pilot jet passage and it should come out here. Spray cleaner through the center of the main jet passage, making sure it is clear of all contaminants. Spray cleaner through the emulsion tube, making sure all holes are free of contaminants. Clean the bottom of the float bowl thoroughly, making sure all contaminants are removed. Clean out the sediment bowl thoroughly. Inspect the float valve tip for wear. The tip should show no signs of wear and should be replaced if there is any. Inspect the pilot screw for wear, broken, or bent tip. Check the throttle and choke butterfly for smooth operation. If it is not smooth, the butterfly and shaft will have to be removed and cleaned. Install the pilot jet, making sure the O-ring is on the end, the flats on the side are lined up properly, and the jet is pushed down all the way. Install the throttle stop screw. It will likely need adjusting to the proper idle speed after the engine is started. Install the sediment bowl o-ring and then the bowl.
Install the pilot screw and spring. Lightly seat the screw, then adjust the screw three turns out. It may need additional adjustment after the engine is started. Install the main nozzle and main jet. Install the spring on the float valve and the float valve on the float. Install the float and float pin. Install the float bowl o-ring. Then the float bowl. Install the gasket on the float bowl bolt. Install the bolt. Drain bolt should face in the direction shown. Install the insulator gasket on the engine block. Install the insulator as shown. Hook the spark plug wire into the position shown. Install the carburetor gasket with the small hole in the position shown. Slide the carburetor over the studs and install the throttle linkage and return spring. Install the fuel line and clamp and make sure the fuel line is pushed down into position on the insulator. Install the metal gasket with the cutout as shown. Install the choke lever. Install the air box and tighten the two knots and one bolt. Install the rubber air filter gasket, then the air filter. Tighten it down with the wing nut. Install the air filter cover and wing nut. Install the breather hose so one end goes into the valve cover and the other to the air box. When completed, the hose should go over the spark plug wire and not under it. 